Hi, my name is Bob Slowinski, and this is Jack Skex. I run a brothel in Gold Coast, a specific brothel. A, sp a specific brothel. It is in the mainstream town. And, and he, has been... there has been, we have found the thief of chickens. His name is David, and he's in the studio right now, so we're going to interview him. And yeah, so thanks for coming on the show. Thank so yeah, come on, come on, David, come, come. So, so, why have you been stealing all these chickens, huh? Um, let me speak in the microphone, please. Why have you been yeah, stealing yeah. all these chickens? Let me speak in. Oh! Why have you been stealing all these chickens, sir? Because, um, I own the building and, um, he not paying his rent, so. You've been stealing chickens all the time. You've been. You've had stolen no, 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 I don't over, like, over 50 chickens so far. No, I don't like your tone, mate, because um, I'm the owner of the building. You're not paying his rent. What I already said that. What building? The brothel building. He, he's owner of the brothel business, and I, I don't care for that much, so. um, He has chickens in there for the aesthetic of the you place. You stole so over I 50 stole chickens the throughout the whole of the town. Do you have an explanation for that? I don't know, actually. I, I'm just talking about the chickens in his building. I don't know anything about the chickens around town. So you're going to have at least 10 years in jail, so you have court next week. You know, I don't think it's... Yes. It, I don't it think is, it's much of a crime it stealing... Is a, it is a very serious crime. I don't think it's much of a crime stealing the chickens from my the building that I own. Well, I, I what about from all the town? I, that wasn't me. That must have been a copycat Some something. There has been security footage of this man stealing over 50 chickens uh, throughout the whole of town. Well... Oh. Okay, get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Please get out. Please get out. Right. Please get out. Right. Okay. okay. So, thank you for watching this. We can continue our bathroom haunters. Penis! This is the actual penis. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. What's with this aid stuff, you know? Been going around for a few decades now, you know? Um, you know, how do people just get an age from bumming each other in the ass and sharing heroin needles? And something else that escapes me at this moment. Maybe it's like a monkey? Yeah, no. Aids. Pretty, um, classic. <laughs> Hi. My name's Jeff Eisenhower, and I am a spokesperson for the AIDS Foundation because there's been a recent rise in AIDS cases nowadays, and it's a lot worse than this other disease that is apparently going around, which I can't remember the name of. But yeah, we have with us here today, a man who has been diagnosed with AIDS <coughs> after having sexual intercourse with a mongoose while on a hunting trip in Africa. <coughs> yeah. What is your name, sir? My name's Dow, and I got. Oh wait, why did I touch you? I got AIDS. We get. Do we sterilize this guy before we film him? <coughs> did anybody clean him before? I told him that a clean shower before we had had this shoot. <sighs> Screw this! I'm out. I'm, I'm out of here, man. I'm, I can't. I can't deal. I can't deal with this. Uh, this sauce, oh, really? this sauce, no, but we'll just make it in there just as a joke. This sauce bowl. Did you make sure you filmed my, um, my spitting? Yeah, I filmed spitting, and then I showed it right when I was doing it. Okay, just sort of there. Right, you move the camera, though. It's, it's, it's actually Alright, no, walk in, though. Yeah, you I'll walk, say, you walk in, down. no, we're not doing the same oh, thing. Okay. What should I say? Ladies and gentlemen, the mighty! What should I say? The mighty Jack Skex! 
<laughs> yeah, not the same guy. Okay, good. Ladies and gentlemen, the mighty Jack Skex. Hey, there he is. You, you, you may know me from the uh, Girl Coast. I Broadway. love you, Jack. That's not my name. Ah, uh, you may know me from the Gold Coast Brothel, but I'm also a very funny comedian. Today I'll be going over some topics surrounding... What are we going to be surrounding today? Let's take some audience votes. No? Nobody? AIDS. Oh, yeah, AIDS, AIDS. AIDS. How can you get AIDS? It's like so funny. Ah, oh, man, AIDS, 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 AIDS. It's pretty, pretty easy to not get AIDS. In my opinion. Why am I letting the audience respond to a uh, stand-up special? I have no clue, but... It's just the way I'm gonna do it. So AIDS, you know, it's pretty funny. You know, you can get it in multiple ways. Heroin's the funniest way, you know, gold colors. But yeah, um... Oh, hell! You know. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own crowd, guys. Nobody's laughing at my jokes. This is a very funny <laughs> session. <laughs> oh, guys, go buy tomato sauce. Tomato sauce microphones. At tomato sauce microphones.com. I'm just gonna pass on to the next one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the mighty! Hey! How's that going, everyone? Yeah, we doing tonight? Yeah, good! Yeah, we doing tonight, everyone? Good! Good, are we? Good. All right, all right, that's pretty. All right, all right then. So, I was on the bus the other day, oh, you know? So pretty. Shut up. I tried to routine. I don't care much for hecklers. Get off the stage, buddy. <laughs> hey, that shuts you up now. I'm, I'm doing a routine about me being on the bus, mate. Keith doesn't respond to non funny comedians. Luckily for that, I'm hilarious, so, you know. So, I was on the bus recently. Shut I up. <laughs> no, mate. For real? For real? I'm trying to tell a joke right now, man. So I'd appreciate it if you shut up. I didn't do that to Jack Skex, man. I was just sitting there. Good comedian, Jack Skex. I got a story about him, actually. We were at this nightclub in the Gold Coast, and this dude came up and he said that he was a chicken thief. And I didn't believe him, but turns out he actually was a chicken thief. And Jack was like, Oh yeah, you've been stealing the chickens from um from my uh, brothel, and then um the, ch the chicken thief's like, yeah, well, they're the only chicks I've been stealing from your brothel. Get it? It's like you refer to a woman. Where's your microphone? You refer to. We can't hear you. Oh, you see, we refer to a woman. That's not a microphone. It is though. So. <laughs> You see, because he refers to a woman as um, a chick, as well as an actual chicken, that's the joke. So anyway, back to the bus. <laughs> hey! Shut up right now, mate. I can see you right down on my knee. You just passed the cameraman. Come on, cameraman, give us a kiss. Alright. I was on the bus. Um, this fat woman sit next to me right? and she's like oh my god I wish I wasn't fat and I was like too bad for you because um news break you're fat then get this turns out she had actually sat on a child that was next to me I didn't mention that there was a child next to me at first and then once she sat down I was like well where did the kid go? Right? So I was thinking maybe, maybe she was doing a reverse birth. Um, you know. Ah! It was, it was that, mate. Because um, I don't care much. That was the boy sitting next to me. Is she sounding your kid, dude? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I can tell that I'm not wanted here, so that's not very cool. All right? Uh, I've got one more story, it's about Jack Skex. Shut up! I remember this one time, I remember this one time he contracted AIDS from a chicken. Luckily all the chickens have been stolen now, so that can no longer happen to any other patrons at the Gold Coast nightclub. Yeah. 
Luckily, am I right, sir? Hey, he knows. He knows what's up. So I'll leave you with this. Jex, Gex. Get off the stage! I hate you. Boo! Boo! Say that again. Gosh. Ah. <laughs> oh, where should we do it? Should we just do it where we land it? I don't know. In the kitchen. We just do it in the kitchen. Because <laughs> then it could just be like part of the kitchen. Or would you like one of those crappy ads where it's like people going along like, Do you have any Koala Lager in your fridge? You oh, know, yeah. like acting out. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Mm. Man, I really need some Koala Lager right now. What? You're promoting it. Oh, I thought you said that I, you had to come in and then. No, you're the person promoting it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. What are you talking about? Okay. No, it's. Ah. Guys, my name is Jim, and today we're putting Koala Lager. There is currently no logo in here. Hey, hey! What are you doing in my house, man? What are you uh, doing in my house, huh? Uh, uh, do you have any Koala Lager by any chance? What's that? Koala Lager. <gasps> what is this? Koala Lager contains 100, sorry, 99.99999 percent of alcohol. It could kill you, but that's just part of the fun, part of the fun, part of the fun. <laughs> By any chance, does it taste delicious? Delightful! <laughs> I think I'm gonna pass out. Koala Lager, buy it now, buy it now. I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. Do you like pussy? Cause I have it! If you want some, if you want some, come down to Gold Coast Bruffle. Gold Coast Bruffle, 1% off all strippers. Come down now if you love pussy. <laughs> Do you love eating pussy but hate the damn stench? Well, that struggle is over for you fellas. Cause for a once in a lifetime offer, we have the new limited edition Pussy Spray 1000. But now, watch out, ladies. Because if you call now, you'll get this one time offer limited edition dick cheese spray for all you fellas with smelly cock heads. If your knob stinks, then it, you gotta spray it with, um, cock spray. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it serious, face. Let's go and get my car. Are you a person that loves eating that sweet poontang but hates the sweet? <laughs> 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 Are you the kind of guy that loves eating that sweet poontang but hates the sweet? <laughs> no! It's so hard to tackle. That's so you know. So we get lost out of the front of us. <laughs> Hey, fellas, do you love eating that sweet old crotch mound that hate the <laughs> damn stench? <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> hey, fellas, do you love eating that sweet poon tang? Well, for a limited time offer, we offer you the Pussy Spray 5000. And look out, ladies, if you're watching, you can call right now and you'll get one free can of that sweet old dick cheese spray for all you fellas with stanky old penis hairs. Your knobs will no longer smell like fish, just like you ladies with them stinky vaginas. Call now! In a world where a man who wears sunglasses outside in the winter finds love in a place called Jack Skexorio, the brothel in the Gold Coast. <laughs> yes, but little did he know that after he banged a chicken, he contracted HIV, which then led and turned into AIDS. This is the story of Jonathan Freikel, an Italian man who immigrated over to Australia and contracted AIDS. This is his story. AIDS Man. The Jonathan Freikel story coming this summer.
ますけど。